This video will show you an extended view of crew oxygen mask stowage procedure. The procedure contained in this video are derived from the airplane maintenance manual and should be used as a means of demonstrating how to properly accomplish the job. Procedures requiring specialized knowledge or skill or requiring use of tools or test equipment should be accomplished by maintenance personnel. The satisfactory accomplishment of all maintenance procedures regardless of who performs them is the responsibility of the operator. Be sure to comply with your local regulations. Make sure the pneumatic harness is not twisted. Wind the supply hose and insert it into the bottom of the stowage box. Fold the pneumatic harness into the mask. Put the mask into the stowage box. Make sure the microphone wire and the oxygen hose are not twisted. Make sure the pneumatic harness does not interfere with the mask retainers. Make sure the tab on the front of the crew oxygen mask is on the top of the plastic stop in the stowage box assembly and the supply hose is at the center of the stowage box. Close the left lid of the stowage box. Push the test reset button of the stowage box assembly and make sure that the oxygen on flag cannot be seen. Insert the door pin in the hole of the red plate. Close the right lid of the stowage box. Push the test shut off sliding control lever of the stowage box of the oxygen mask of the pilot co-pilot in the direction of the arrow. A white band of the left lid face of the stowage box comes into view. The oxygen is supplied to the mask regulator assembly. The blinker becomes yellow for a very short time and then becomes black again. This shows that the regulator has no leak. Make sure the pneumatic harness is not twisted. Hold the crew oxygen mask regulator and its pneumatic harness and open the stowage box doors. Wind the supply hose and insert it into the bottom of the stowage box. Fold the pneumatic harness into the mask. Put the mask into the stowage box. Make sure the microphone wire and the oxygen hose are not twisted. Make sure the pneumatic harness does not interfere with the mask retainers. Make sure the mask regulator is at the center of the stowage box. Close the lids of the stowage box. Push the test reset button of the stowage box assembly if the oxygen on flag is visible. Push the test reset button of the stowage box of the pilot's and co-pilot's oxygen mask. An oxygen on flag on the right door of the stowage box comes into view. The oxygen is supplied to the mask regulator assembly. The blinker becomes yellow for a very short time and then becomes black again. This shows that the regulator has no leak. Release the test reset button. The oxygen on flag on the right door of the stowage box goes out of view.